I think I was just tired of being a loser, bro. And, uh, you know, not living up to my full potential. You had suicidal thoughts. 100%, bro. I had suicidal thoughts. You, you know? could say your life is switched up. Spiritually, physically, mentally. You're not even drinking alcohol no more. Yeah, man. You get drunk. And then you go do some dumb shit. Like, uh, I once went and wrote off my car. Are you serious? You know what I'm saying? One one moment, yeah. I had a car. One moment, I didn't. You, you didn't know what? Yeah. I need to get rid of both porn and masturbation. If I right. want to have sex, it's either I'm going to go out there and get it, or I'm going to have a lady, my, yeah. my woman. I'll have sex with my woman. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, comment, right. comment right now if you've masturbated and you felt good right after. Nobody, Nobody. dog. Nobody, Nobody, dog. How long were you yeah. lasting in bed, bro? <laughs> For a second, I thought <laughs> you lost the culture. <laughs> did you really? Did you really fuck scars, uh, baby, baby mama? mama? You better know we got the up, Africa, the rest of the world. What's going on? It's your boy TK, and welcome to another episode. Very special episode of the Juice 2.0. I appreciate you so much, man, for taking the time and check us out. You know. I wonder how you been, you know? How are you? And drop it in the comment section. How you feeling? How you doing? What's been happening in your life? And I'm hoping it's all beautiful things, yeah? Yeah, I went deep there when we just started, but I, I don't know what it is. But Shindrava! <laughs> it's a very special episode because I got Gab City's boyfriend in the building, man. And we're about to chat. Lati's in the building and I'm just super excited. Top of the world for this conversation. But I need to let you know that we're broadcasting live from Skyview Lounge. If you haven't been to Skyview Lounge, I don't know what's, what's, what's going on. Check us out. It's beautiful. For every event that you want to host, you can also do it over here. Great food menu, great drinks menu. It's all a vibe. So, Skyview Lounge right here in the CBD. Well, without further ado, I need you to put your hands together for Gab City's boyfriend. <laughs> Smash your pass, Neku. Lati, what's going on, sir? I'm chilling, my bro. How, How you, you doing, been? man? Easy, easy, easy chilling, isn't it? Isn't it crazy that, like, we say hi to each other before the recording, and then when we get it, it's like, I mean, Yo, what's up, man? <laughs> uh, I think it's for, like, we're just trying to feel in, yeah, yeah, have the people at home, you know, feel our vibe as well, you know what I'm Straight, saying? So, yeah. it's dope. How you doing, it's, bro? Myself, um, I'm doing great, man. I'm yeah. doing great. I'm feeling way better than I've felt most of my life. Yeah. Yeah. And I I'm think I really think good. it's it's for a Thanks lot of for asking by the way. Yeah, you got it, man. It's it's because you've been telling me a, a lot about things that have switched up in your life. Yeah, man. And I was shocked when you started telling me about these things and then you said whenever we we do this thing, the podcast, yeah. you would love to talk about it. And I was like, yo, 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 yo. This shit is crazy, man. So, let's get into it, right? Yeah, man. You could say your life is switched up. 100%. Spiritually, physically, mentally. You're not even drinking alcohol no more. Yeah, man. Right? That's actually the first time I've ever talked about it in public now. I appreciate, I appreciate you doing yeah. that on the Juice 2.0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, shut up, bro. So what's up? What, what happened, dog? Man, I think I was just tired of being a loser, bro. Yeah. And, uh, you know, not living up to my full potential. Right. You know, I had to sit down, you know, and just be with myself, you know, just in my own thoughts. Yeah. You know, I reached a point where I was feeling a little bit, you know, suicidal. Oh, shit. And uh, I just felt like, I felt like shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I know I'm, I'm so capable of so much. Yeah. I'm so smart and I was achieving a lot. But, you know, things like alcohol, you know, bad, bad circles of friends. Yeah. You know, those things just kept on pulling me back, you know? So, I had to just, you know, make a decision to to sort of, sort out my life, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day, you know, everybody knows what they're doing wrong. Straight, straight. We all know what we're doing wrong, and yeah. we know, all know what we, we need can't to fix lie to, in yeah, our you lives. Can't lie to you know yourself. what I mean? Yeah. So, I had to sit down. I I disappeared for like two weeks. Yeah. I was in SA. My phones were off. Nobody knew where I was. I was. Yeah. You know, I just went to go and just think, think. You know, like some. All I knew is something had to change. Bro. Something had changed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. One of the things I had to do was quit alcohol, you know? Or should I say, um, yeah, basically quit alcohol. I yeah. haven't like quit it, quit it, quit it. Yeah. I'm probably going to be that guy who drinks three three times a year if I'm celebrating something that is Straight really up, huge. Sure. Some occasional stuff. You know what I mean? But yeah. I, I'm i actually on the, almost on the second month. Second month? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm left for like a, a week or so to be... 
two months. I had tried before, uh, but then, you know, where I was saying I, I only drink when I do work stuff, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Let, let me say if I have a performance, I'll drink at the club or if I have a podcast to just calm down my nerves, right, right, I'll right. just, you know, sip a little bit, you know, but then it always led to relapsing. I where, almost I almost offered you a drink earlier on. And I on. said no, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I'd relapse and then yeah. I'll go back from just sipping at the event to now sipping even after the event and the uh, following day after. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I just decided to just quit completely, man. And that was one of the best decisions I've made. Congratulations for that, man. A lot of people are not able to do that. It's very difficult. It's I very tough. I won't lie to you. Because yeah. there's discipline involved, self-control and all of that. But what struck, what, what struck me the most, like, struck, what's the English? Struck. Struck, yeah. Yeah, we need to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> what struck me the most when we're just opening there is the fact that you, you say it's suicide, man. Yeah. And I get scared every time that word is dropped, you know, in a conversation. Yeah. And I think people don't really take, you know, pay the, the attention that they need to pay to uh, as soon as the word comes up. But you had suicidal thoughts. 100%, bro. I had suicidal thoughts, you know. But I think that's what um, God does. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, if you don't live to your full potential, yeah. God will just keep on punishing you until you, you do us right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but, you'll but, start getting things like depression. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, yeah. most of the depression is caused by, you know, you just knowing that you can do better, but you're not applying yourself enough. Ooh. You feel so that's what depresses us. Yeah. So I just decided, you know what? I need to sort up my, my shit out. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, for yeah. example, I was getting I was getting fat and obese. And that... We'll talk about well, that too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, that, that made me feel like shit. I felt terrible all the time. You know what I mean? Like, when I look at myself in the mirror, like, it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't nice, man. Something as simple as, yo, dog, you gained so much weight. Or, bro, when did you get fat? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would just... Ruined my whole day, bro. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But the funny thing is, I'd just continue smoking weed. Yeah. I'd continue drinking every every single weekend. Right, right. You know, and that would just not solve anything. It just made things worse, bro. Did I'd you, get even more fat. You smoke weed, you want to eat you, more. Of course. You, you know drink, you want to eat all the junk in the world. Bro, that's how it is, bro. So I was just, I was messing up, bro. So, and sometimes, you know, you are, you get drunk. And then you go do some dumb shit like uh, I once went and wrote off my car. Are you serious? You know what I'm saying? One one moment yeah. I had a car, one moment I didn't. You didn't, yeah. I decided to go to Cigar Lounge, Yeah. you know, ordered a bottle, you know what I'm saying? And then after that drove and uh, we landed on a, di on a ditch. Are you shit, bro? Luckily, I always tell people to wear their seatbelts. Oh, yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Nobody was injured, but the police couldn't even believe, you know, they were, that we were the, the people who were in the car because we right. had no scratches. That's God's you know grace saying? right yeah, there. That's man. God keeping you right there. Bro, like all the, I'd move forward. I'd grind, grind, grind because I was basically a functioning yeah. alcoholic. Yeah. But then I'd go 10 steps backward now because of some stupid drunk moment like yeah. uh, you got an opportunity you know, then you don't answer your phone because you are blacked out. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah. The, opportunity and then the opportunity passes. passes. Yeah, real quick. Or, or maybe I'm drunk at a... Let me say I have an event and I'm lit. And then I have guests there, you know, and I act a fool. You know, because <laughs> when you are lit, you think you have it under control. But most but of the really time, you don't. don't. You really don't, yeah. You feel me? So, Ash. That's fucked up. Uh, did, you, did you have someone to talk to about, you know, those thoughts that you had? Suicidal, especially. You uh, know? Suicide, hey, man. Have you had to speak to somebody? I've talked to my girl about it. Okay. You know, but uh, one of the things that helped is, uh, you know, listening to guys like uh, Jordan Peterson. Peterson. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's you know, my that boy. That guy right is, he's, he's dope. That's my boy right he's there. Dope. Yeah. I feel like everybody. Shout needs out to Jordan listen. Peterson. Yeah. Big shout out. Everybody needs to listen to Jordan because, yeah. you know, that guy is point blank. He tells you what you need to do Bro. and expresses things Bro. you know in ways that uh, we've been thinking but are unable to express you know yeah. what I mean so that really helped you and know? I'm happy I'm happy you brought up that name because his focus is actually on young men yeah young male adults 
because we go through a lot of things, but we're also in a world where the focus is not really on us, you Fence, know? Yeah, yeah. Nobody's really listening to boy child or boy Nobody children cares, or, or men. So mm. Jordan is dope, man. Tell me about being fat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's only funny now because I ain't. <laughs> also, a big shout out going out to Soul Penduka, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soul yeah. liked your, your video on Instagram. Tell me about that. Tell the world about it. I mean, uh, which part? Uh, Saul liking your video. Oh yeah, I think uh, I think he liked it because he follows me. You get so I think Saul Penduka follows you. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, no. Oh, shout shit. out, shout out. Yeah, I've met him before. You know, Joe. Joe. So like, yeah, he follows me, and um, I think everybody knows. Anybody who's a chiller knows that he's also on a weight loss mission. Oh yeah. yeah. So I think um, he got inspired when you saw my video. Yeah. You know, I asked him how his journey is. You know via DM yeah. and he was just telling me that uh, that is very difficult yeah. but he was also asking for tips being fat man is not a it's not nice bro it's really not bro like <laughs> I was I couldn't even enjoy looking at myself in the mirror I know yeah I let alone sex I yeah? didn't bro like yeah. you sweat quick gets clumsy you, you get bro like even when next to like I like I didn't I didn't enjoy dripping anymore, bro. Of course. Because it course. doesn't look as 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 nice, bro. Like and, and I'm not trying to body shame anybody. Yeah, of course. But at yeah. the end of the day, we know what's obese and what's not, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's facts. So hey, it was just not a nice um experience. And yeah. I'm happy that I was able to, you know, get to the bottom of it and and stop being a victim and just, yeah. you know, feeling sad for myself. I just took a stand and said, you know what? Let's I'm gonna cut it. out the alcohol. I'm gonna cut out the weed. Yeah. I'm gonna cut out the, the unhealthy, <laughs> the unhealthy food. You know yeah. what I mean? Because I got into like a keto diet, which is like where you have proteins and vegetables, and I'm also fasting. Oh, nice. Yeah, intermittent fasting, 24 hour fast. I do those. I do those. Yeah. 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 I do 24 hours. Like every day at 6 p.m. I start eating. Yeah. At least latest should be you can't eat after eight. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I only mess around with my diet a bit on weekends, like on a, on maybe a Saturday and Sunday. Okay. But I still don't have breakfast. I have lunch and maybe supper. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? But it has to be before. Intermittent eight. is crazy, man. It's. It, but it it shows me how dedicated you are to your to your journey, like weight yeah. loss and all of that. Yeah. Because then it's also very extreme. Imagine yeah. twenty four hours you're not eating, but you're also in the gym, right? Because I bump facts, into you, yeah, I bump into you all the time in the CBD, working yeah, it out. It's not easy, bro. Yeah. But but you have to want it so bad. I wanted to lose weight so bad, bro, yeah. and I wanted to win so bad. Yeah, you know. And I was I was from a dark place. You know what I'm saying? Where I just, bro, I, I wasn't feeling good about myself and and what I've managed to accomplish so yeah. far. You know, even in in school, bro, I was a top achiever. Speaking of which, man, you know we'll I'm get saying? back to the weight loss. Funny story. Today I was getting a haircut in the morning. Yeah. Um, the next person was also getting a haircut is a guy whose name is uh, Lito. Lito. Okay. Lito. So um, we just chatted. You know how the barbershop is, man. Yeah, you man. know, you know, we talk about everything. <laughs> so they're like, hey, yo, TK, so who you got today? I'm like, no, I got Gab City's boyfriend. You know, Lati and I are going to be chatting tonight, later tonight. Yeah. And they're like, oh, shit. That's Lat uh, Lati and I were in the same school, uh, same class. Lati is a fucking intelligent motherfucker, man. Yeah. Like, this guy was doing pure sciences. I only learned that today through this yeah. conversation in the barbershop. So then the conversation spiraled into, okay, so then what happened from this kid who is smart, pure sciences, back in Good Hope, yeah? Yeah. That's where you went to. Mm. Uh, Good and, Hope Senior, yeah. It was and boarding school. Boarding school. He told me all of that today. Mm. It's, it's crazy. And then, so shout out Lito. Big shout out. I hope he gets to see this. Shout out to you. You know what I mean? So then the, the conversation became, how then did that guy become the guy that people see in UB and everything else that's perceived, you know, bad boy, crazy, lighty, this and that. What, what can, you, can you explain that kind of, you know, that journey right there? All right. It's a long story, but I'll try and short it. Try to show you. Yeah, yeah. First of all, that's a good question. You know, and... I mean, it's valid. Yeah, yeah. I'd understand why somebody would ask that. You right, know what I mean? Right. Because um, he was he was actually wondering why you never took, in his opinion, obviously, that's what he thinks. You never took your academics as seriously as you possibly could. You focused on 
arts and all these other things and maybe it didn't really work in his in his opinion so uh yeah um basically at UB I was studying Bachelor of Finance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mind you, I'm a kid who grew up as a Jehovah's Witness. Ah. We were enclosed from like grade one. We didn't celebrate birthdays, we didn't celebrate Christmas, New Year's. Oh, we're sheesh. not really allowed to socialize with other kids. Yeah. But Christmas Day, you know, Ramallah paying while we know that the rest of the family is somewhere enjoying some nice food. And uh, our Damn, cousins, bro. all our cousins are there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're not allowed to, like, dressing like this, you are dressing like people from the world. And I've Damn. always been this guy inside, but I was just trapped. Ah. So when I got out there, when I finally went to UB, that was the first time I ever stayed alone with nobody controlling me. You see, so I got into a little bit of trouble. I was partying too much. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could have probably aced the exams if I even made made it to the exam. Because you're a smart guy, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. but I was uh, I was in a cell. Then when I came back, I took too long. I was in a cell because we did some dumb stuff like uh, <laughs> public nuisance. What what did you do? Public nuisance, like where I was just uh, we were drinking in public. Okay. What from uh, you know. Kosher nights. You remember kosher I nights? I remember. Oh. So we're leaving for kosher nights there. Um, so what are we 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 still have like bottles of alcohol. We're walking to, yeah. to yeah. campus in UB. So then the police uh, got some guys who were doing stupid things. Yeah. Where I get all the barrel and banana by UB. We all walk as a unit. Yeah, yeah. Even some were not really like our boys like that. Right, right. Yeah. So those other guys, banana similar ba sort of vandalizing. No, like like Supreme there by main ah. ball. Jumping on top of the Supreme Shit. car. So then they just got us in, as a unit. They so you caught the strays. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught the stray. Damn. Uh, and so that's how, that's how it happened. Then I wasn't able to be there. Yeah. And then when I came back, I kind of took too long, you know, uh, to go back to the lectures and just yeah. tell them, what, yo, yeah. I missed out. Can you help me out here, you know? Damn. Yeah, so that's what happened. Um, and I ended up dropping out. You know, um, I could have... The problem is, I knew I was so cocky with the fact that I'm smart that I didn't even try with the with the first few tests because I know I'm going to murder <laughs> the exam. You, you feel me? So if I missed that test, but I had passed the, these uh, primary ones, yeah, yeah. I could have made it. But I never put effort on those ones because I knew I'm going to kill the main the, exam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where I also messed Damn, up. Damn, bro. So then I um, I dropped out. Yeah. You know, but I did have like an opportunity or a choice to go back. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, but it just didn't feel like time yet. Okay. Because I was more uh, focused now on what I'm doing because I started you know, business while I was still, you know, in... Damn. In UV. So, 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 people actually say you graduated, so that's not true. I've never graduated. You've never graduated from, from college. That's no, crazy, dog. Didn't I see some pictures of you with the, with the graduation gown or some shit like that? Never, that wasn't me. That was bro. not you. Yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> Do you get scared about life, though? Like, how old are you, Lati? I'm turning 29. 29? Yeah. Do you get Tomorrow. scared? Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. shit. Shout out. Happy birthday in advance, bro. Thank you, bro. Uh, do you get scared? Because with education, well, there's supposed to be some security, right? Mm. Do you ever think, oh shit, I don't have a degree. Uh, maybe life is going to be fucked up. I mean, everybody thinks of that, man. Yeah. Especially because I know deep inside that I'm a you know, top achiever. You're a smart dude, yeah. Because I know I could have probably been... Um, making a lot of money right now on a job. Right, right. You know what I mean? We all get nervous. You know what I mean? Straight get up. scared. Straight or, up. If I fail, this is what people are going to say. Like, or we yeah. long told you you should go back to school. Yeah. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, it's no longer, you know, that way. I think I was more scared, especially because I wasn't going where I, I, I knew I, I, I had to go. And I wasn't yeah. applying... Um, enough effort even though I kept on convincing myself that I was yeah, yeah. deep down inside you can't lie to yourself you know so that's what makes you scared when you know what I, I left uh, a big thing you know that could have made me successful yeah. but I'm also here pretending to be pushing this new thing with Shit, everything that bro. I have but I'm not yeah, yeah. but you know 
now that you know I'm like super focused, I'm in a whole different journey of my life, and I know I'm putting in my hundred percent best. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. I feel less scared, and I've learned to just you know let the universe or God, you know, um, handle the rest. I just I do my hundred percent best. Yeah, and then the rest, God takes care of that. God will take care yeah, of yeah. it, bro. Dude, we'll get back to we'll get back to that. And I also really want to talk about business, right? Yeah. But there's a really, really intriguing question that I have. <laughs> when you were fat, right? <laughs> I'm sorry to bring it. Oh, nice pants, by the way. Thanks, I almost bro. asked you to bring some. And then I remembered I'm not really liquid today. Huh? Oh, yeah. But no, I want to cop cool, your yeah. pants. Uh, this is the business part of Lati and the t-shirt. Yeah, 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 we'll talk yeah. about all of that. No problem. Um, when you were fat. Oh, should we? It's fat. It's fat. A it's good fine, word. dog. I'm not. A, I'm not. A, uh, I'm not. Um, I thought it's quite offended. Yeah, the hey, the world is crazy also lately. But how long were you lasting in bed, bro? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> For a second, I thought <laughs> you lost the culture. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, ish, bro. I'd go in hard, but like ish, bro. Like I'll just be tired quick, dog. Been- Probably. Ah. No, but the thing is, okay. Yeah. There's a. Uh, I still last long. You know why? Yeah. Along with this journey, there is this thing that I'm also doing called no fab or no masturbation. Oh yeah. yeah. So, so much to talk to you about, man. Yeah. So if you masturbate, uh huh. Um, before you get still, in there, you are st- no, not even just before, even on different days. Okay. okay. Maybe when your shorty is tired or when she's not there yeah. or whenever, you know, um, you tend to last longer. You know what I mean? Because you've already taken out most of the that yeah, thing. You know yeah, what I mean? So yeah. I still took longer. But now I take um less longer ever since I stopped fapping. Uh, but it's more enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah. Bro, masturbation. Crazy. It's terrible, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's terrible. It's crazy. Do you want to talk about that now so that we get rid of it and then we get to the business part? Okay, yeah, yeah. Why you decided to stop? Also, tell me, where did masturbation start? And what was the vice, right? Was it television? Was it porn? What was it? Uh, Was it friends who said, look, uh, bro, if you don't got a girl, you could do it yourself, man. What was it for you? Funny funny thing is, how I found out about masturbation, I think it was because of uh, porn. And porn... Porn, funny enough, the first place where I, uh, I found porn yeah. was a kid from church. A kid from church? Yeah. The irony, dog. You know what I'm saying? Bro. So I was socializing with uh, other kids and then that guy, you know, showed me porn and ah, that guy man, ruined crazy, everything, man. bro. <laughs> that guy ruined everything, bro. Like, what's up with church folk? <laughs> bro, like, most of the time they're the, the craziest because I get yeah. They are you know, enclosed and prison. So yeah, yeah. a child, you know, like I like saying a child is like a spring. If you press it and press it and press it, when you finally leave it, release yeah. it, it just springs out, you know? Straight up. Straight so up. yeah, that's what happened. And then how old were you at this point when porn was introduced think, to you? Bro, I think I was in book grade four or five. Bro. Yeah. Very young. Yeah. So very young. that's where I learned, you know, stuff like masturbation. Yeah. So then, that spanned for how long? Porn and masturbation. I spent for most of... uh, Most of your life? Yeah, bro. Damn. But like, that is not a good habit, bro. Yeah, yeah. It, first of all, um, makes you a simp. Yeah. You know, because... For sure. Come on, it takes out that dog in you, man. That that beast inside of you. Because it's testosterone. You know what I'm saying? And... um, as a man, we are made to go out there and compete, you know, survival of the, of the of fittest. The fittest or, yeah. And but after you and we're supposed to go and find, you know, mating partners, be it a girlfriend or just to go and uh, you know, go have sex, man. Yeah. As yeah. a guy. But <laughs> once you masturbate, most of the time after you masturbate, what do you wanna do? Sleep. You don't even have the urge to go out there and talk to women. Straight up, yeah. So as you just become a soft ass, simp ass nigga, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. And it just keeps you demotivated. So is bro. that what what made you stop, man? Was there like a moment that made you stop porn and masturbation? Yeah, man, I just I I felt um 
I felt like I said it was taking away my power, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, you know what? I need to get rid of both porn and masturbation. If I right. want to have sex, it's either I'm going to go out there and get it or I'm going to have a lady. Yeah. My, my woman. I'll have sex with my woman. You know right, what I'm right, saying? right, right. Yeah, so that's how it happened. Damn, bro. Confirm, like, after after masturbation, man, I think the one one good sign that you know it's a wrong thing to do, right? Is the feeling that you get as soon as you're done with it. Bro, you feel, it's like you feel disgusted and it's shame, dog. Nobody ever feels proud that they masturbated, Never. bro. Never. Like, I dare you. Whoever, hey, yeah. yeah, bro. Yeah. I did this comment, shit. Comment right now if you've masturbated and you felt good right after. Nobody, Nobody. dog. Nobody, Nobody. Dog. Yeah. You know that, that split second when you see your... Your face in the <laughs> <laughs> on the screen, bro. <laughs> I fucking hate that shit, yeah, bro. Man. I long stopped, yeah. Yeah, it's. it's I think it's been. Uh, it's not a, good, dog. A good. Uh, I think eight years now. Yeah, and for me it was God, you know, church and all of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, being serious about my spiritual life and all of that. So I thank God that happened for me. Yeah, man. And I'm glad that happened for you too, man. Yeah, facts and for, um, for real. You have, you're an entrepreneur. You're into business, merch, and all of that. Tell me about that. How's that coming up, man? How are you um, doing with that? It's coming up great, dog. Yeah, I've yeah. always loved. I love the pants, bro. Thank you so much. On the bro. real, Thank dog. You so much. I appreciate it. Bro. Love the pants. Yeah, no, I get them tailored in SA. Okay. And then we brand them this side. You know, they can make anything that I draw. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So entrepreneurship is is it's it's been the love of my life, bro. Yeah. Like I think um. I'm a, I'm a businessman yeah. and a creative, you know? Dope, dope. But I think business is where, okay, I'm, I'm strong on both sides. It's basically kind of like Kanye. Yeah. You love both the creative side and the business side and you're good at both. Right, right. You feel me? So business is going so uh, great so far. Yeah. As you know, I, I run a modeling agency called X Models Agency. Uh-huh. And um, I'm into merchandising now. You know, and I'm into events management. I'm a DJ, you know, so... I love that part, yeah. Yeah, man. So, and I'm also a, um, an executive producer of music. Dope, dope. You know what I'm saying? So I've always been a a creative so person, So this, you know? this is like a different different pockets of income, right? Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, the DJing, yeah. the merchandise. So do Botswana support by buying the merch? Lati, uh, you see, this is dope, man. Yeah, the do Botswana support. The do they support? Are they you? They do, bro. They yeah? do. They are do. Are people actually buying stuff? Yeah, no. People are actually buying, bro. But okay. you know where? For you to succeed, you need to have um, the right circle of people around straight you. Straight up, straight people up. People who support you and people who want to see you win. Yeah. So the good thing is when I started, the, my immediate friends are the first people who started buying. You know what I'm That's saying? That's how you know you got real ones. Yeah. 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 You know, so and… Uh, after they bought and then we started taking out taking it out to the people straight up so people are supporting people love to see people win you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i love that for you man uh what else did i need to ask with the business part of things it'll get back to me um ah, and being shucks. a dj yes 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 yeah. that's what i wanted to talk yeah. about let's talk about that man i've been seeing your flyers um most weekends right yeah, yeah. you're doing you did something with scar the other time yeah, man. Was it at your establishment, the spot, the, the spot that you're doing your things at? Uh, what was happening there? Yeah, no. Um, new announcement. Uh, I'll be hosting Thursdays nice. at Main Deck from July. Dope, man. Yeah. Dope. And also, I'll be doing Saturdays from July as well. Yeah. I'm at uh, DJ Delicacies. Yeah. It's a new joint in uh, Zambezi CBD, Towers yeah. and CBD. Yeah. yeah. Big shout out. Big shout out. Tell and me I about DJing, man. Um, when did you start? Uh, DJing has it has it always been part of Lati or it's something that's just kind of came up right now? Yeah, man, I've always loved DJing. Yeah. Um, if if you search on uh, on Facebook and and find um, is it MC Swagger? Yeah. yeah, MC Swagger. You'll find my profile as a DJ there. Okay. From like back in the days. Damn. But um, it wasn't a it wasn't a passion that I was uh, that I explored. Okay. Um, then, but yeah. I've been wanting to do it. Yeah. Uh, it's, I think, you know, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Of course. It's working course. out for me and it's it's great and I'm enjoying it. And um, I started doing it, I started learning last year, July. Nice. And I actually announced that I'm a DJ before I even understood <laughs> DJing properly. You see, you see. Yeah. yeah you know, then 
I was so obsessed and I wanted it so bad that I was willing to pay for uh, for DJ schools. I started with DJ Quest. Uh -huh. You know who was teaching me? Yeah, big I, shout out, big shout out. Yeah, big shout out to Quest. Yeah, um, he started teaching me, and then you know as time went on, it was kind of uh, expensive because he was in Pakalani, so I had to go to Pakalani like two or three times a week, and that was a little bit costly, of course, especially because yeah. I was also still paying. Yeah, so yeah. I, I I was able to strike a deal, uh, a, a better deal with uh, YDJ Academy. Amazing. Where they, they helped me through the DJing. Dope. And I, on the other hand, was also obsessed with the music. I made sure that I listened to piano, yeah. balcony mixes. Every new song that was out, I made sure that I, I got knew it. about it. You know what I so mean? So is that what you're going to be playing mostly? The pianos? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. But I'm very versatile. Yeah. yeah. And I'm open uh, to work uh, with other place, yeah, places yeah. or establishments that are not necessarily just, okay. I'm a piano. Like, um, like in main deck when we're starting this... Uh, the yeah. Thursdays, I'm going to be doing uh, R&B Thursdays. That's dope, man. Yeah. Dog, uh, I was happy to see you and Scar on the... Was it on the same flyer at some point? Yeah, yeah it was for my event. It, it was the launch of the... It means Platinum you guys Fridays. are good now, yeah? Yeah, no, we're all right, man. Yeah, we, no more beef. Did you really... Did you really fuck Scar's... Uh, baby mama. Baby mama? No, I didn't. I didn't. I all was right. just... I was touching where it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was of all, course. Yeah, but... The only thing that was true about it is I had dated a chick, um, one of Scar's exes. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. But I won't mention mama. her because she's married now and I respect her. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Damn, because that was like a long beef, right? Back and forth for a minute. Yeah, man, but Scar started it. <laughs> oh, I, he started it? Yeah, man. I. Wait, how I, did he start it? It was after we dropped uh, Booty Butt Chicks remix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The music Congratulations video. Congratulations for that, man. Shout out, shout out. All that booty. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, a, it was a crazy time. Yeah. So it was after we, we dropped that music video. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Scar, Scar likes to, you know, throw in like the fuel into the fire. Yeah. So he just came out and said, um, rappers got killed by a comedian in their own song. Comedian <laughs> referring to William Last. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, because he was featured on the song. Damn. Which he did kill the song, you know what I yeah, mean? And yeah, yeah. That was why we brought him into the song. You know what I mean? It's not like we're bringing people who are going to mess up the song. Yeah, yeah. But I think at the time, also, Ska wanted, you know, like some some relevance. Or, or should I... That's not the word, bro. Yeah, I don't want to start yeah. this beef over right, again. Right. <laughs> I need to choose my words very carefully. Right. Uh, he wanted some publicity. Because uh -huh. he was about to drop uh, Geb's son. And, you know, as it rappers... It makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Rappers, we, we make money off of banter. Of course. That's what excites the fans. Course, that's what, um, you know, keeps the game alive. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? So, yeah. that's that's what started the beef, man. And then and it just then kept you, on and going. And then you did what you did. Because now I get when I fight, I fight back hard. Yeah. I came through with the diss track. So, I always, be, people knew how to get to me. Because all you need to just do is poke a little and then I'm going to go out hard and then I look like the bad guy. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how it happened. Damn, though. bro. Uh, but would you say you're the same person right now? I mean, it's been a few years, right? Are you the same person now when you look back? If someone says something right now on social media about you, seeing that you're also on a different journey spiritually and all of that, mm. uh, what kind of response? How would you respond now? The Lati now, how would you respond to that kind of stuff? Yo, man. Um, oh, that dog is still there. Dude. That of dog course, is bro. <laughs> like, you remember one of the reasons why I stopped masturbating masturbating is because I don't want to be a simp. So I ain't right. no simp. Straight you know up. what I'm saying? Straight so up. Um, what I'd say is maybe I would have handled things a little bit different. You know, because I kind of sure. took it too far. There's healthy banter. Yeah. You know what I mean? As guys, you know, we can ruffle a few feathers, yeah. uh, you know, every once in a while. Of course, but of course. I took it too far, you know, by mentioning even his parents, his, his, his dad. Yeah, you took it. You took it. Yeah. Damn. So I wasn't too proud of that. But, yeah. you know, um, as... Even though I'm matured, it's yeah. not like I'm going to let people step all over me. But I always try to Real be talk. the bigger, uh, bigger man. You know what I'm saying? Real yeah. talk. Smash or pass, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, huh. Anita Ghani. Anita Ghani, smash or pass. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> We're playing your own game, huh? Yeah, man. Uh, 
Hey, baby, if you're watching this, it's just a game, man. It's, it's really just a just game. A game. That's what I always tell people. Yeah. I need to get any uh, pass. We once had like a one-day fling, but it was a long time ago. Oh, shit. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't fuck, though. We didn't fuck. We didn't oh. fuck. She was still, um, come on, dog. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just being dramatic. I'm yeah, just, yeah, you, yeah. Go no, you go on, you go on. It's all yeah. good. Yeah, nah, but it was just the one day of fling and then never again. But it yeah. was just, it, we were young, bro. It was just kid. Yeah, it doesn't of course, count, bro. Of course. But yeah, um, pass, pass. Kile bo kile mechano? Pass. Yeah, she's, pass? she's, she's cool people. Yeah. But hey, sh- we're both too loud, man. Ah. Yeah. Okay. I don't think any, one needs to listen, bro. You right, know? right, right. Yeah, there needs to be the more calm one. Tyra? Tyra, Tyra, Tyra. Which Tyra? Oh, Mulus. Mulus, Mulus yeah. yeah. Pass, she's a little bit too skinny for me. Oh. Yeah. That's not your type? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah? Mm. Uh, then how about Katie then? Katie. Yeah. Uh, Katie's my sister, man. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Pass on Katie. Pass on Katie, but with, just because she's my sister. Um, Shucks, who else do I got? Who else do I got? Uh, yeah. Yo, who else you got? Precious who? Precious... Uh, it's a Louis. Yeah. Uh, no, pass, pass, pass. 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 Yeah. Dang. Maybe back then, but not now. It's a lot of pass today, you know? Yeah. It's a lot Maybe of Maybe back passes. then I would have smashed, but not now. Dang. Yeah, not now. Um, um, um... Uh... Guys, you gotta help me here. <laughs> I don't know why the names are disappearing, bro. Uh, we're, it's really just well-known figures out there. But don't get me wrong, like yeah. you know, all these women that you've been mentioning, they're very beautiful. Very ladies, beautiful you know ladies. What I mean? yeah, yeah. yeah, they're very beautiful. Um, but we um, all have types, you know what I mean? So tell me about Smash or Pass. Yeah, yeah. Why did you even start that? With the controversy that is attracted over the years, right? Um, why did you start it? Um, I've always wanted to be in film production, like create my own shows and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. So BTV stopped, uh, you know, it used to be like this thing where you can, you know, film like a pilot episode and then give it to BTV and then if they like it, they give you, you know, the rest of the money to go and shoot the rest of the season. Yeah. Now they need you to like shoot the whole... Oh, just the whole 13 thing? 13 episodes, bro. Oh, okay. And that's a lot of expensive. So I shot like a, a pilot, then I only found out for it. They no longer do that. So um, I had to work with what I had. Of course, yeah. Which is, which is like how I am, you know. If I hit like what is considered a train smash, I always try and find like a way forward with what yeah. I have at that point. Yeah. So yeah. I just like, you know what? There's a platform, YouTube. Let me try to do something there. So obviously, um, I chose Smash or Pass. It resonated with me. I liked the, yeah. the, the, the naughtiness of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So that's why I chose Smash or Pass. I was like, okay, let's start with this. Congratulations for that, man. Smash uh, or Pass you, has you, been such a, such a success, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah um, exactly. Also because of, what's her name again? Uh, the main actress, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. At Smash or Pass. Remind me what, what her name is. Uh, Vusi. <laughs> How did you, <laughs> tell me the process of getting her on. Was it her who said, yo, let me come through or you hit her up? Uh, she, she hit me up. Yeah. Uh, she was, she once commented on one of the, the posts, you know, and just said, you know, beat it. Yeah. And at the time I knew what Vusi was always just saying the most on social media. Yeah, yeah. So um, I did end up inviting her over. That's dope. That's dope. You and I, you and I get a lot of flag for, for, it, for just kind of upsetting, you know, the culture. You know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I get what, what you, you What do you feel about that? What are your feelings about, you know, the culture in B-Dub, what it is, what it's supposed to be, and then maybe people like you and I come in and we do what we do, and then it's a little bit of upset, right? What do you feel about that? How do you feel? Um, our culture, you know, we know it's very con- conservative, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, all of that. Right. On our people, but they can watch the same stuff and even worse when celebrities in like American stuff do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I understand because I get it's a culture thing and it takes time for, yeah, you know, for people's perceptions and uh, what has been 
you know, cultured into them right. for many years to change. It doesn't change overnight. Yeah. So yeah. I, I bear with them and I understand, but I'm not going to let it, you know, pull me backward. Straight up. You know, because the world is advancing forward. Yeah. Though what I can say is um, I do find some of my content also cringe. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> honestly speaking, some of it I, I so get So you watch your own stuff too, yeah? I mean, I edit it myself. Oh, yeah. So I watch it more than everybody. Of course, of course. You know what I mean? So I watch Smash Up. I'm probably the biggest Smash Up Has fan. Yeah, of course. Because of I course. watch it more than everybody before when it you're drops. When you editing, yeah. Over and over again. And then I watch it with other people before it drops so that I see their reaction. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I stopped, I stopped watching my shit. For real? Yeah. Nah, but you got to watch your own stuff. How no. are you going to improve if you don't? Not because... Not because uh, uh, that's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. Um, but I just kind of like the organic part of it, you know, the organic aspect of it. But that's a great you point. You have to watch it so that you see... Well, hey, sorry, <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, you have to watch your own stuff over and over again so that you see, oh, okay, no, I messed up there. I could have done this better. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. that you, you avoid making the same mistakes uh, yeah. next time. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. Uh... But I hear you. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that up and uh, maybe yeah. improve on that. It it just feels weird sometimes. Like yeah. why am I but, watching my myself? You know what I mean? Yeah, I hadn't I, I hadn't concluded my point. Uh -huh. You know what special pass? I was saying the cringe. And um, I will add, you know, that I always tell you know you know especially ladies. Yeah. You know, and guys who come on the show that guys, this is a fun game. It's a that's why I'm allowing everybody to be free, express Straight themselves, yeah. and just have fun. We are, come on, we're young, we're having fun. Yeah. You know, everybody goes to party, everybody does everything we do on Smash Up Pass. It's just that they don't do it in front of the camera. Straight up. Straight you know, up. and uh, we've watched people do the same stuff and even worse on Big Brother. Oh, yeah. They even have sex on Big Brother. Oh, yeah. And people still say it's fine. But I always tell people, guys, don't over drink. I, especially Vusi Kamarakira. Yo, Vusi chill you know you <laughs> don't be doing that you know but I I can't tell her name or anything but I'm just giving an example where I, get you, I always I get tell you. people yeah. don't get too drunk so when am I coming on Smash or Pass bro I mean uh, you're taken so I don't think you're gonna come to you know <laughs> yeah, but it would've been nice to have you know do a do presenter's it, do, edition do do it sounds gonna kill me for that bro I know you're gonna get uh, clapped bro when you people get back, started bro. kissing started making out on, yeah. on Smash or Pass it's dope man but the thing is we do tell people that um you can't kiss anybody without their consent. Of course, of you know course. what I mean. And you gotta stress that. You yeah, gotta and, stress that. And we also ask for people to submit pictures of their their IDs so oh, yeah. that we see that they're they're legal, they're of the consent yeah. age. You know what straight I'm up, saying? Straight up. So that's what uh, we do. I wonder. I wonder what the biggest misconception out there about Lati is. What do you think is the biggest misconception about you? That I'm a uh, very uh, arrogant person and I'm. Uh, Disrespectful. I'm not. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah. I'm Where did they get that from? What do you person. think they get that from? I think it was also probably mostly because of what I fueled as well. Oh yeah. What I gave the public. You know, there was a time and uh, there was a point where I used to be, you know, very like bad boy image, you know, yeah. for the camera. Yeah. You know, and it's the image that I I created. So I played a huge role in. Making and people think that, that. Yeah, and yeah. positioning myself in terms of a brand. Yeah. You know, but uh, we grow up, you know, we mature. Yeah. And um, this is a whole journey of uh, everybody. Nobody really knows themselves, bro. Like, we are all learning ourselves every single day, man. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. As, as, For as sure. we go through life, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm learning myself as well. And I'm, I'm learning and trying my best not to... To always tell the truth, to always tell always, the truth, always. or at least not to lie. Yeah, you know, and uh, to to say exactly what I mean. Yeah, you know. You also you also told me that you you're not cheating anymore, or yeah. you don't cheat anymore. Yeah, and you don't lie anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah Right? Yeah. Is that true? Is that hundred percent true? Yeah, or I try my best. I get it. That's why even when you asked me if yeah. it was really true that I I fucked Scar's baby mama, straight up, and, and that I was said, no, it wasn't true. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? So I, I, I'm I, striving to tell the truth yeah. always, or at least not to lie, no matter the, the, the consequences. The consequences. You know what I mean? It's so, a beautiful life to live, I think, yeah, bro. Yeah, and, and it helps me to also be myself, to say what I mean. If I'm not happy about something, yeah. I'll tell you straight up. Yeah. Remember, you showed me if I liked a shoe. Yeah. The old me would have wanted to... 
to say what you want to hear. But then I just told you straight up, nah, that's not my taste. Yeah. You feel me? Dude, the last time you and I spoke before today was over at the YSO party. Yeah. And I asked you if your your worst experience during sex, right? Yeah. And you had said it's when somebody smells down there. You yeah, know what man. I mean? Like I said, it's a pandemic. It's <laughs> Is it still a pandemic in Gap City? I don't know, bro. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore, bro. But you know what? There was a there was a very interesting conversation at some point. Yeah. Uh, people were trying to find out if a man is in that situation. Yeah. What's the best way to tell your partner that it's not it's not great there without turning them off, without offending them, without making them feel like the worst? So what what is there a way yeah, man. possible? <laughs> that topic, man, I thought a dog. <laughs> it's a very difficult um, situ um, like topic to right, right, right. Or conversation to have. I know. You know, first of all, you know, women are very sensitive, especially very. about, you know, first of all, the the size of their vagina. Yeah. Whether you believe they are tight or not, yeah. that is a very sensitive. Uh, very topic. sensitive. Yeah. Whether the 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 vajayjays, uh JJ, I never use that word, bro. What the hell? What's going on with you? What the hell, bro? Anyways, yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, whether they uh, they smell or not down there. Yeah. You know that is a very uh, sensitive topic, but you know you, you need to make them understand what a baby. Whatever I'm discussing with you, you know. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't discuss it with you if I didn't love you. So an uh, honest conversation. Yes. Okay. Or okay. um, if I didn't love you, I'd just leave you. Yeah, but I'm willing to work with you for a solution to this. And most of the time, women need to also understand Jorge. Uh the pussy's thinking. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not always necessarily because the person is not bathing. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Other causes, other things can of, cause that, like uh, yeah, straight up, uh, an off balance of the pH. Right, right. Caused by maybe um, swimming in chlorine. Or hey man, eating Lati the wrong studied, food. Lati studied these days, man. Yeah, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Right. So it's just that I, I just learn every single day, bro, about you. different things. I feel My you. mind is very inquisitive. Who is the? Yeah, so it can, oh, yeah. you can your pH can be thrown off, you know, like things like eating the wrong food. Yeah. You know, um, and uh, maybe using soap under there. Some ladies do that. They oh, yeah. use soap on the the not a good idea, vagina. right? So. Girls need to know what it. You sit her down about Malala, but so there's so many things that could be causing that. So let's just right. look at everything. Right. Because right. I always see you or you 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 shower well. Maybe it's um the 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 stuff that you're using. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we need. It could to be one thing or yeah. 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 Because rape, the vagina is a very sensitive um organ. Yeah. In order can be ticked off by anything. Straight up. You know straight sometimes up, yeah. uh going down in a woman after eating. Yeah. You know, kind of be. It could mess her up. You can mess up her pH balance. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Or put bacteria in, yeah. in, uh, in her vagina, and then it can start smelling. Or, you know, this thing. Well, thing. Let's be spontaneous. Oh yeah. Uh, we have sex at five in the morning, <laughs> and you put your dirty dick in there. Yeah. That can throw off yeah. her pH. I feel you. Know you. What I'm saying. I so it's you. not always. Her fault can already because she's not bad thing. So it, all these things should make it possible to, for two people to have a conversation, yes. right? Right. If yeah. you love each other, you sh you need to promise each other at the beginning of a relationship or a baby. Um, no matter what happens, we will always tell each other the truth. Honestly, because if, if a relationship is not based on honesty it's and the fucked. truth, though, yeah, already it's fucked, fucked from the beginning, yeah. bro. Bro, then, so so do you go down on a lady? Uh, is that your style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, for days, bro. I don't right. go down on my lady. Manic. Yeah. Man. You have to. You have to. You have to. <laughs> Who is the hottest artist in B Dub right now, apart from you? In terms of what, like looks. whatever, whatever. Okay. Uh, oh, no, in no, terms no, of music. Music. Yeah. In terms of music. Who is the hottest right now? Uh. Right now, from the top of my head, I'm thinking of Hensi. Hensi. And when I'm thinking of Hensi, I'm thinking DJ KSB. Because they ah, just dropped a new joint together. So, joint together but yeah. NC, NC has been putting out music since... Consistently. Yeah, consistently, yeah. bro. Since Sedilak, and, bro. Yeah. yeah. You know, ever since Bo, uh, Sedilak, uh, you know, like he's been consistent. Since, yeah. And also FME DJs, I don't know what to do they get in the studio. Or, but like, 
or it's ex- executive producing or yeah. whatever they're doing they're bringing out nice tunes and they're also consistent with dope, it dope, you dope. know so I, I respect that who am I forgetting nah I don't think uh, I'm forgetting yeah I've already mentioned Hensi. This is a Hensi. I started with Hensi. <laughs> you know, so... Yeah, so those are the the two people I can think of right now from the top of the dome. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any regrets, man? At all? In life? Um... I think... You know, the typical answer is to say... Um, I don't have any regrets. You yeah, know, because yeah. everything, everything is a is lesson. Everything is a lesson, blah, blah, blah. Nah, but... One of the things that I can think from the top of my mind right now that yeah. I regret is, uh, you know, doing dumb stuff and getting into accidents, which messed my back up a little. You yeah. know, I'm still working on it. Yeah. You know, so sometimes I need to be careful, you know, how I do my sit up. Straight up, straight up. You know, or when I bench press, you know, because my back is a little fragile, okay. you know, but I'm still working on improving it. You know, so that on its own scares me because I'm thinking, damn, what if yeah. this gets worse when I grow up? You know, yeah. so that's, that's one of my that's regrets. One of the regrets you know? yeah. But every most most of the stuff, you know, it's it's things that we have to go through. Yeah, you know, in life to learn. You know, but I feel you. Yeah, I really Could feel you. Richer sooner if I didn't <laughs> do some of the dumb stuff. You know, yeah. but yeah, but yeah, man, I appreciate everything because it's making me who I am it, today. It, bro. Yeah, you grow from that stuff, yeah. really. Um. We're about to wrap up, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if there's anything that we left out, but I also just want to learn, like, with the journey that you're on now, yeah. ongoing thing, spiritual, weight loss, I see you in the gym, entrepreneur, you're pushing your merch and all of that. You're a DJ, you're, you're hosting out at Platinum uh, yes, Hotel. Yeah. With all of that going on for you, man, is there a specific thing that you want out of life? That possibly if all of these are combined, which is what your purpose is for every day, right? Is there is there anything that you want out of life? Uh, that is a very good question, TK. Yeah, thanks, bro. Yeah. Um, man, um, I'm trying to learn, you know, to have... Wait, <laughs> are you okay? Water, take your time, take it. I think I'm going to need another one of these There was two, a young huh? lemon. Yeah, um, I was saying... You know how we all growing up, yeah. We just wanna get these big houses, be super rich, so that we can show all the people who who thought it would be nothing, so that women would love us, you know, so that um you know, to spite the people who treated us badly. Yeah. You know, I'm as time goes on, you know, I'm I'm starting to learn that money doesn't change who you are doesn't make you better right 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 it it, it it can make you better by maybe it just money just amplifies the person that you already were before you had the money straight up straight so up so if you were a, a quirky arrogant uh, sound bitch yeah you'll be even quirkier and more arrogant if you are uh, a, a humble person loving you'll be more loving and it just more reveals humble. yeah reveals you know, all so of that I'm trying to have a different purpose you know, like have a a different aim, like as to why I want to have money and why I want to be rich. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. but it it doesn't happen overnight. Bro. Of course, man. You know, so it's a. Uh... I've seen how I enjoy being able to help people. Oh, you know, if somebody the... needs money. Yeah. You know, and I see what well, this is actually genuine. Um, it feels good after I lend somebody money, though most people never return it. Yeah. You know, um, motherfuckers. It, it, you know, and but. <laughs> I feel so good after I, I help people. Yeah. And when I'm able to give other people like opportunities, it feels really good. Right. So right. I want to do more of that. And uh, that's dope, man. Very noble. Yeah. So if, but I can't help anybody if I don't help myself. Straight up. You know. Straight so up. you if, gotta be good first, right? Yeah. So if if I can be the best version of myself, then I'm able to benefit myself and the the people around me. Yeah. So. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to learn what I've been reading in books, Straight. success books, you know, Straight. motivation books, or a, you know, you should want to be successful so that you can help more people. And the more you get rich, the more people, people you are able to assist. So I'm trying to switch my mind to that because, bro, all the cars, all the, the women, they don't really bring true satisfaction. 
on this these Instagram posts, bro. It's all lies. Most it's people <laughs> are are not happy. They're living fake lives, bro. We Dog. only see 30 seconds of Dog. of that, you know. Dog. So so it got me to see what there has to be more um more to just being rich and having expensive cars. You become happier or more content. Right. Or or you feel you feel good if um you know your your life has some sort of meaning, bro. Deep Wait, meaning. Deep, yep. Deeper meaning. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying, bros. I wish so that for you, man. Yeah, I wish man. that for you. Mm. Uh last but not least, how's mm. how's your relationship? You've been in a relationship for for a bit now, I think. Mm. Uh more than a year now? More uh, than a we're year. We're going on three years this with year. Your, with I your think woman. in September, yeah. Three years. Yeah, it's been You see, it's only brothers like you and I yeah, that can yeah, relate. Because yeah. I'm in a three-year relationship oh, for as well. I know. Uh, shout out to you. So as well. uh, how's that coming up? Uh, are you happy? What uh, are you, what do you celebrate the most about your relationship? No, it's going good. Yeah. The, the great thing is uh, me and my woman, uh, we help each other grow. One time, one you time. You know, um, there's just like you know, every couple. Right. Some person like um each one of us has like their strengths. Yep. And yep. Uh, where they can pick up the other. Yep. And uh, you know, the it's other, just it's a yin and yang. Yeah. Know, reciprocal. I like you know what it. I mean, so I like it. So that's that's the good thing about us. Uh, we help each other grow. I'm on a diet. She joined me as well. She's doing intermittent Stove. fasting. Stove. We're on a keto. She she has more knowledge about keto than I do. Okay. You know? So we're just helping each other. You know, like if. If if Skyview, this Skyview, right? Yeah, yeah. Skyview gets an email uh, from Lati to be a resident DJ, mm -hmm. maybe on Sundays because uh, I'm booked. Let's pick that in the universe. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm booked. <laughs> I'm already booked. Um, I already have residency uh, Friday, no Thursday, Friday, Friday Saturday, Saturday. So s Sunday is open. If they get an email, they yeah. should know that it was sent by my woman. Oh shit! She's the one who sends the emails. Damn it! You know what I mean? That's and dope. I'm the one who also thinks about other things like uh, just. One was it Thursday? Yeah. Thursday I was submitting, you know, our applications for land in Kasani. Nice. You know, like at the Damn. post office. So and those were ideas telling her to talk and so she fixes me in other places, I fix her in other places. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right? I love that for you, man. So I love I'm, that. And I'm also like a father yeah. to her kids, to our kids. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? That's so dope. I those boys are in the gym as well. They've just recently started their own clo clothing label as well. It's called G-O-D, God, which is Gods of Drip. It stands for Gods of Drip. That's dope. Big you shout know, out. They're, they're, on, they're, they're on Instagram. Awesome. So, you know, like, it's basically like we're, we're building each other. So that's, and that's the type of relationships that I encourage um, people to have. If Proper. she's richer than me, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm also richer in other places. Of course. And she can see that um, I'm a lion. I'm a guy who's coming out for everything. Yeah. So that is what makes us strong. And I think, as a unit. I think she, I love she, that about my She woman. also must be must be one of the happiest people about you quitting alcohol and all of that. Because man, our ladies suffer, bro. Yeah, man. God damn I was it, always bro. coming home late. God damn it. I get you know? drunk and I am a fucking menace. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's always my woman. Act that's out of character. Act out of character. You you sing things that are not even there. I, I get kicked out of places. <laughs> you know, I, I, I've got, I've been banned from Cigar Lounge. I've been banned from Ioba. You know, I've just done There's dumb Ioba stuff. There's Ioba here. Yeah, man. Ioba I'm, just opened up. Mother, what? Yeah, I got... I got I got lit because it was my boy's birthday and yeah. we just drank a little too much and I was waking up from a night of drinking also. Yeah. So it, that didn't help as well. So I just ended up, you know, I wasn't like harassing or stuff, but I was just a bit off balance. I ah. you know, stumble over stuff, break glasses. I broke like and four glasses. And people are glasses, not happy about so that. They had to like nicely escort me out. So are you back now? Can do you still have? Do I'm you allowed now have, to go there. Yeah. You now have access. Yeah. Okay. I have access. Hey man, yo dog, you you're such a great, amazing person. Thank you so much. And I'm much, happy that bro. you stopped by. Yeah, yeah. But before I let you go, I need you to look into the camera. Please promote your shit, right? Um, where they need to come check you out. Uh, where you're hosting. How much your merch is. What exactly it is. Yeah. Um, what else is there? What else is there? And just whatever it is that you would like to promote, take this time. Yo, man, uh, thanks to TK for letting me into his spot, you know, in the Juice Tupano. Um, what I'd like to say to everybody who's watching at home is that we can't undo all the damage we've done in the past. 
Yep. But what I can tell you is that um, I'm a better man. Um, I'm still not perfect, but I'm moving forward and trying to, you know, be the best uh, person I could be. Sure you know, and uh, I'm working hard every single day. Yeah. And uh, I encourage you guys, you know, everybody who's watching to stand up for what they believe in, uh, no matter the opposition, you know, because you never know where God is leading you. Uh, he said I should sell myself, and I agree. If you have a really good product yeah. um, that you feel that people can benefit from and that you feel like it's real good quality, then you shouldn't stop talking about it no matter how many people feel what they are, you're always trying to sell me something. It's because you believe that you're trying to bring a positive change. So what I will tell you is that um, these pants that I'm wearing, the leather pants, Smashup Pass edition, you'll even see the tag. It's written Lati Smashup Pass. They are out now for sale, uh, yep. 400, 400 bucks. And then we have leather jackets. Um, I'm not wearing one right now because uh, they're out of stock. So those are 550. And I have this T-shirt that I'm wearing. Lovely like T-shirt. Pass, Lovely uh, T-shirt. Merchandise. Um, it's, it goes for 250. Summer is coming. We're gonna be exploring more with colors because the first color we explored with is black because I love the color black. Um, but in summer we wanna go with you know brighter colors and different designs because we just wanna go fully into this um, you know merch thing, fashion thing, you know. And then um, one thing I'll also add is that check out my YouTube channel. Um, it's at Lati underscore Misfit at Lati underscore Misfit on YouTube and all my social media platforms and uh, what am I leaving out I'm a DJ I'm available for bookings I yep. do live bands uh, yep. if you're corporate you know uh, I'm versatile uh, depending on uh, what's your target market we can make it happen if you want to come see where I'm playing with my guitarist uh, his name is Josh uh, our sets, you can always find us in Thursdays, uh, beginning of July, we're going to be doing Thursdays at Main Deck and Main Mall. Um, Saturdays, we're going to be doing uh, DJ Delicacies and Zambezi Towers, uh, Ground Floor, in CBD. So that's where you find me. I still have a spot that's available for Sundays. If you want to uh, help me, I mean, if you want me to help you promote your place, you can definitely hit me up, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to you, TK. Shout out to you, I man. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you for inspiring me. Uh, yeah, yeah. With the alcohol thing, I think I, I really want to try as well. Yeah. I always go a week and then after that, it's like back to square, you yeah, know, man. all of that. Like, our industry, bro, I know Ash, we're supposed to be finishing this. Straight up, straight up. Honestly speaking, <laughs> My creative bro. director is like, Homie, homies, what's going on now? <laughs> oh, sorry. No, 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 no. You go ahead. You go yeah, ahead. Yeah, but I was going to say... We're finishing. When yeah. I'm telling the truth, hell, the entertainment industry is filled with junkies yeah. and functional yeah. addicts. Yeah. You know, we are always drinking. We are somehow on drugs. It's the vibe, bro. It's, it's the vibe. Cough syrup. Yeah. You name it. Yeah. Cigarettes. Straight. Fire after fire. Fire Straight after... Up. I Straight up. that as well. Straight Cigarettes. up. You feel me? So, it's not helping at all, bro. That's why we make a lot of money, but then we spend it all <laughs> again. It's I crazy. get booked here. I get paid a thousand bucks. And then you the go. The next thing I blow, five hundred bucks already on on a bottle. You know, hey, man. Shout out to you, bro. So much happening for you. God bless you, man. God bless your journey. God bless you too, bro. Thank you for stopping by. Shout and uh, until the next time we speak, all right? Yeah, yeah. It's bro. probably gonna be in the gym, cause that's where we bump into each other all the time. Yeah, but I'm leaving. Oh. I'm leaving. You're uh, leaving Jax? I'm leaving Jax, Jim. Where are you uh, going Jack at? Dish is going to kill me because he's my friend. Like, what, it's my very Where are you going? Friend. Um, I'm going to Virgin Active. Yeah, that's crazy. I just came back from Virgin Active. I just joined Jax, Jim, I Towers. I stay in Block you, 10. I stay in Block 10, but I needed a change of, you know. For me, I think it's also because of um, the networking uh -huh. uh, opportunities because all the big dogs go to. No, 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 shh. We're gonna cut that part. He's, all the big dogs are at Jack's gym. <laughs> Dog, God bless you, man. One shout time. Out, Peace. Shout out, shout out, shout Peace. Out, shout out. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, Lati, thank you so much for stopping by. You're amazing. You're part of the Juicy family, which means you're amazing. You're a star. And until the next time that we, you know, do these amazing things that we do, check out our videos, the ones that you haven't checked out. But most importantly, Click subscribe, the notification button. Just let everybody know about the Juice 2.0 as well. And for the family that has already been doing the sharing and just talking about TK and the Juice 2.0, 
I love you guys. Stay juicy. Peace. One time. What's going on YouTube? My name is TK of the Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.